Any list of things invented or discovered by Germans is long and impressive. X-rays, the car, television, the theory of relativity, the birth control pill, the list goes on and on. Unfortunately, one period of German history saw the nation's talents devoted to building weapons. Here is our list of secret Nazi weapons. Number 1. The America Bomber Hitler had one goal that he wanted to accomplish – to see the United States go up in flames. Therefore, Project America Bomber was initiated. It was German Air Force Chief Hermann Göring who sketched out the requirement for the America Bomber in 1942. A strategic bomber capable of making the 7,200-mile round trip across the Atlantic with nuclear weapons on board to attack the United States. But it never came this far. The first prototype was the Messerschmitt ME-264, and it was a good, solid choice. But eventually it was abandoned to allow Messerschmitt to concentrate on their fighter production during World War II. Although there were also plans for the Focke-Wulf TA-400 and Heinkel HE-277, eventually the Junkers Ju-390 was selected instead of the Messerschmitt ME-264. There were two prototypes built, one of which never flew. The other showed initially a lot of promise, so the Germans gave the order to build a number of aircrafts. What precisely occurred after this event is still not certain. It was reported to be seen in Prague carrying out test flights, and there were also rumours that the aircraft indeed undertook a flight to within 12 miles of the American coast, just north of New York City. But there is no evidence of this flight, and how the Ju-390s were really used has never been found out. Both aircraft, though, were long gone by the end of the war. Number 2. Der Vampir – The Vampire Unlike the America bomber that never saw the light of day, the ZG-1229, also known as codename Vampir, actually saw service during World War II. Der Vampir was the first night vision device designed for personal weapons, which was developed in 1944 but was not deployed until 1945. It was designed to be mounted on the world's first assault rifle, the STG-44, and saw action on the Eastern Front. The scope looked like a badly made flashlight on a rifle. The scope was heavy, 5 pounds, and the batteries carried in a backpack weighed 30 pounds. The Vampire saw into the infrared spectrum, not ultraviolet like most night scopes issued to the military today. The device was designed so you could aim the main gun using the infrared sight by a complicated system of range estimating bars that went up and down with the gun and searchlight, so the commander could see the range by aiming the searchlight. 300 were put into the field, however, considering its weight, short battery life, and relatively limited range, it did not impact the battlefield very much. Number 3. The Krumlauf Imagine creating a kill shot to your enemy from behind a corner without showing yourself. How much of an advantage would it give you during the war? That was the idea for the Krumlauf barrel. It was fitted to the Sturmgewehr so that German soldiers could fire their weapon around corners without exposing themselves to enemy fire. It was a great idea. It was evident by the end of the war that most of the fighting to come would take place in an urban environment. Rather than exposing oneself to get a well-aimed shot or blindly firing around a corner hoping that you hit something, what if you could fire around them without showing yourself? However, even the Krumlauf, or crooked gun, with the slightest curve, caused bullets to hammer the inside. This meant the barrel would soon give out and that frequently, even with a new barrel, the bullet itself would break apart, firing more of a shotgun shell spray of fragments than an accurate bullet. Only a few hundred of the barrels were produced. A Krumlauf with a 90-degree bend was being worked on as a standoff weapon for tank crews, but it never made it off the drawing board. Number 4. The Goliath A war without a drone or another small device is something that is unthinkable in this time. But did you know that it was pioneered by the Germans during the Second World War? The Germans deployed several remote-controlled vehicles during the war, the most famous of which was the Goliath. The Goliath was a World War I tank filled with explosives that was sent towards enemy emplacements or under-armoured vehicles. Many Goliaths were used against American troops at Anzio Beachhead in Italy in spring 1944, and against Polish partisans in Warsaw later that summer. They carried a single 13-pound charge. Nearly 8,000 Goliaths were made, and they could and did severe damage when they reached their targets. However, most did not. They had terrible ground clearance, were a slow-moving target, had thin armor, and were expensive to make. However, these weapons, and our next one, were ahead of their time as the modern battlefield is increasingly filled with unmanned remote control vehicles. Number 5. Kugelpanzer – The Ball Tank Maybe the most strange and weirdest vehicle being built was the Kugelpanzer – The Ball Tank. Even today, nobody really knows exactly what it was intended to do. The Kugelpanzer was 5 feet tall and about 2.5 feet wide, with thin armour 
the vehicle could be manned by a single crewman on the inside sitting on a motorcycle-style saddle. This driver could see the battlefield through a very narrow slit, and if necessary, fire a single machine gun through a slot underneath the viewport. Only one of these Kugelpanzers was ever found. It was found by the Soviets, in of all places, Manchuria. It had been sent to the Japanese, but nobody knows why. The best guess as to its purpose is that it was a primitive, remote-controlled reconnaissance vehicle. But there are also rumors that it was a suicide vehicle for ramming into enemy troops and tanks or a vehicle used as an infantry support weapon, which was able to travel to places where no man has ever been. What the nature of this vehicle was we will never know, because the documents are locked away somewhere in Moscow's military archives. The only Kugelpanzer in existence is in a Russian museum, and no one is sure if it's genuine or not. Number 6. The Sun Gun Yes, you heard that correctly, the Nazis planned to turn the sun into a focused weapon. It wasn't a very realistic plan, but it was a plan nonetheless and took up time and manpower, at least at the drawing board level. However, being Nazis, German scientists came up with the idea that if they could build a big enough mirror and deploy it in space, they could focus the sun's heat on a target, say New York, and kill everyone in it. However, since the Nazis' most famous superweapon, the V-2 ballistic missile, could not break through the atmosphere, could not be counted onto hit its target, and carried nothing but a warhead, we'd say the sun gun was more of a twisted pipe dream than anything else. Still, the Nazis devoted time to it when they could have had scientists working on practical weapons, so we should be thankful. Number 7. The Ratter, or Landkreuzer P-1000 Meet the world's largest rat, the Landkreuzer P-1000. You may have heard of the rat's smaller cousin, the mouse, which was a monster of a tank that dwarfed even the massive Tiger tanks. The Tiger I weighed between 54 and 57 tons. The mouse weighed 207 tons, but never made it to the battlefield. However, should you ever be near the Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia, you can see a mouse. The Soviets captured it after the war. The Ratter, of which only drawing and scale models were made, would have come in at 1,100 tons, carrying between 20 to 40 men. With two 14-inch guns, these were found on battleships, not tanks, four 6-inch guns, a field howitzer, and over 60 AA guns and machine guns. Number 8. The Feuer Lily. The Fire Lily. One of the most famous German secret weapons was the V-2 Buzz Bomb, the winged ballistic missile the Nazis began to launch at Britain, Holland, and Belgium, starting in the last half of 1944. The next of our German secret weapons looked very similar to the V-2, but was designed to bring down enemy planes, namely bombs. The F-55 was designed to fly at supersonic speeds and was launched from a long ramp or modified 88mm gun platform. The first one was finished in 1942, far before the V-1 or V-2s. There were problems in development and supply, but the F-55 had more successful tests than its younger brother. But it was still far from being deployed when the war ended. Number 9. The Horton HO-229 The Germans may have wasted time working on the RAT and the Sun Gun, but they deployed their first operational jet aircraft. Along with the famous ME-262 fighter, the Luftwaffe put the Horton Company's HO-229 Gotha fighter bomber into action, the world's first combat-ready flying wing. Unlike many German secret weapons, the Gotha fulfilled its production requirements. It had a ceiling of 49,000 feet, carried 2,200 pounds of bombs, had a range of over 600 miles, and a top speed of over 600 miles per hour. The Horton was not stealth as we know it today, but it did have a smaller radar signature than the most numerous German fighter, the Bf 109. Luckily, only three were produced before the end of the war. Number 10. The German Kamikaze Towards the end of the war, Sonderkommando Elba was formed. This was a group of about 2,000 planes of all kinds, but only about 300 volunteers. There was a reason for that. They were supposed to ram Allied bombers. Though they were supposed to bail out of their machines before impact, most knew it was a suicide mission. Amazingly, several men survived and are estimated to have brought down or seriously damaged about two dozen Allied planes. At the war's end, the Germans made a jet called the Ramjäger, or Ram Hunter, with a fortified nose and reinforced wings to cut through a bomber's fuselage, but none of them were deployed before Germany surrendered. And here you have our list of secret Nazi weapons. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please leave a comment below about your thoughts and don't forget to like it. Subscribe to the channel as an offering to the gods of the algorithm and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.